Magandang araw mga katribu! Welcome to another episode of Trivin Extra and my name is Kim Sancha. Bagamat ilang linggo pa lamang mula na magsimulang ipalabas ang live-action adaptation ng Heartstopper graphic novel ni Alice Osman, nirenew ng Netflix ang hit LGBTQ plus serye na para sa ikalawa at ikatlong season na ikinagalak ng mga fans sa buong mundo. Kasama si Osman na nakatakdang bumalik bilang manunulat at executive producer. Tulad ng graphic novel, ikinuwento ng Heartstopper kung paano umibig si na Charlie Spring, Joe Locke at Nick Nelson, Kit Corner habang nag-aaral sa isang all-boys grammar school. Nakatuo ng unang season sa simula ng pag-iibigan ni na Charlie at Joe na may mga plot point na kinuha mula sa una at pangalawang volume ng graphic novel. Bate sa graphic novel series na nagbigay inspirasyon sa palabas sa TV, karamihan sa mga pangunahing tauhan na itinampok sa season 1 ay dapat bumalik para sa mga susunod na installment. Dahil dito, inaasahan ng mga tagahanga ang mga aktor na sina Joe Locke, Charlie, Kit Connor, Nick, Yasmin Finney, L, Karina Brown, Tara, William Gao, Tao, Kizzy, Edgel, Darcy, Sebastian Croft, Ben, at Jenny Walser Tori na bumalik. Sa katunayan, ang ilang aktor ay nag-post sa Instagram upang ipagdiwang ang pag sa series. It is one of Netflix's best-reviewed series with 100% on Rotten Tomatoes that drawn praise for its LGBTQ representation. It also ignited a social media conversation topping Twitter trends for several weeks, catapulting leads Kit Connor and Joe Locke to top celebrity status, with their Instagram followings exploding from just over 100,000 each before the series premiere to 3.4 million for Connor and 2.5 million for Locke. On TikTok, hashtag Heartstopper has amassed over 4.3 billion views. Heartstopper captures the joys and agonies of being a teen when every straight text can make a profound impact and being able to announce you are going out with someone means everything. In addition, a coming-of-age story notable above all for its sweetness, Heartstopper's dulcet tone is addictive. According to San Francisco Chronicle and The Hollywood Reporter Critics, as reported by Deadline and Forbes. For the latest local and international entertainment news, tune in to Tribune Extra. Until next time, mga katibu.